In March 2019, the adorable Jibo, once celebrated as one of the best inventions of 2017, said goodbye to its owners um, powered down after a final dance. But how did a company that attracted nearly 73 million in funding, founded by one of the world's top researchers in social robotics, fail so dramatically? Welcome to episode one of Why Robotics Startups Fail, where we dissect the story of Jibo, uncover the challenges it faced, and reveal the lessons that future robotics entrepreneurs need to learn. Let's start. In 2012, Yivo Inc. was founded by Dr. Cynthia Brazil, a renowned MIT roboticist who envisioned creating the first social robots for the home. The idea? A companion that would remind you of appointments, snap family photos, entertain your kids with stories, and help seniors stay connected. Jibo's vision captivated the public, and the company raised over $3.5 million through a crowdfunding campaign, sparkling excitement and expectations for a new era in social robotics. But soon, cracks began to appear. The first sign of trouble came with a series of delays. Promised delivery dates slipped further and further, eroding the trust of early backers. Indiegogo, the crowdfunding company, had to offer refunds for orders that weren't fulfilled, signaling that Jibo's production woes were deeper than anticipated. By mid-2016, Jibo cancelled all the international orders due to some localization challenges. Customers from 45 countries were left frustrated and Jibo's silence on how the money was spent only worsened the public perception. Adding to its troubles, in late 2014, Amazon launched the Echo for $180, 75% cheaper than Jibo. In 2016, Google Home followed, priced even lower at $129. These tech giants' products were more affordable and rapidly improving. And meanwhile, Jibo, priced at a hefty $899, entered the market in late 2017 to Lukewarm's reviews. A significant portion of Jibo's cost came from its advanced three-axis motor system that enabled lifelike movements. But that human-like motion didn't justify the steep price compared to its more capable, less expensive competitors. Jibo's decision to avoid using ROS in their robots was another costly misstep because building your own proprietary system just slows down the development and also makes it more difficult to onboard new engineers. This could be a good step maybe for tech giants like Google or Apple, but for a startup with limited resources, this is a bad step. The biggest issue was that the technology needed to deliver on Jivo's promise simply wasn't ready. While Jivo aimed to be a social companion, its abilities paled compared to what consumers expected after years of marketing hype. It wasn't the intelligent friend promised, it was, as some critics put it, a Roomba with a mic. Then, in March 2019, after a series of layoffs, Jivo performed its last dance. Servers shut down and the robot became an inert decoration. The dream of a social companion was still just that, 
a dream. And now, let's go to the lessons that aspiring robotics entrepreneurs can learn from the GBOS story. First lesson. Start small and move fast. GBOS' initial step of validating the concept through its Indiegogo campaign was very smart. It confirmed that there was public interest and market potential for the social robot. However, the company failed by attempting to perfect the product before launch. They aimed too high, trying to include advanced features like an App Store, international localization, and even an SDK, all at once. Instead, robotics startups should focus on developing a minimum viable product that prioritizes the core functionalities. Launching with a simpler version enables feedback and iterative improvements, fostering agility and sustainable growth. Second lesson. Plan and use resources wisely. Despite raising nearly 100 million in funding, Gibo ultimately ran out of capital and had to lay off most of its team before shutting down. For instance, the company's Indiegogo page listed nine executives before even delivering a product, and then raising questions about resource allocation. Startups should prioritize budget allocation to support the actual development team and product. Efficient financial management and lean operations are crucial. If a company fails despite significant funding, it suggests poor strategic use of resources. And third lesson, manage expectations realistically. Jibo's marketing created a wave of anticipation, even earning a spot as one of the Time magazine's 25 best inventions of 2017, before its launch. While this kind of publicity can boost visibility and investment, it also sets high expectations that must be met. When the final product falls short, trust is eroded and recovery is difficult. Robotics startups must balance marketing and realistic promises. Moreover, they should plan their development roadmap based on current proven technology and not hinge on speculative advances in AI. Delivering consistent, achievable outcomes builds trust and lays the groundwork for sustained success. Gibo's journey is a testament of the difficulties of launching a consumer robotics startup. While it didn't succeed, it paved the way for future innovators by showcasing the potential and pitfalls of social robotics. If you are dreaming of starting a robotics company, remember, innovation is vital, but delivery is what matters most. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more episodes on why robotics startups fail. But wait a minute, if you are inspired to create the next robotics breakthrough, then there is a skill that you need to master. This is called ROS, the Robot Operating System. And that's where the construct comes in. The construct offers comprehensive hands-on courses to help you learn ROS from the ground up, whether you are just starting or looking to deepen your knowledge. With step-by-step -step tutorials, real-life simulation projects, and expert guidance, you can gain the skills needed to become a proficient robotics developer. Don't let your vision become another untapped potential. Start building smarter, more adaptive robots today. 
Visit the Construct platform and explore their extensive range of courses on ROS and other robotics technologies. Empower your journey from concept to creation because in robotics, knowledge and preparation are as critical as innovation itself.